everything Moscow. It could be everything Moscow. Do you know what I mean? Uh? House. Morning. Quality gear. The uh, sparkly Christmas jumper. Don't really want to, so I was talking me into it. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. We're in the Christmas spirit today. Show everyone your new hat. Got my new hat. Don't know if you can see it. Can you say that? It's a new hat. Pretty cool. I'm just starting off a new trend. Uh, I like the Lidl stuff. Quality gear. No, I'm not knocking it. Lidl, if you want to sponsor us, you know where we are. Today is the 1st of December. Merry Christmas, everyone. It is the countdown to the big day. Right, good morning. It morning. is... Morning. It is Monday morning. <coughs> things to address this morning. Uh, a couple of a couple of plans that we're doing that we're gonna talk about. Oh firstly uh firstly I've made some notes. Right we have had a couple of super thanks in the last few days but we've got an issue with our AdSense account which is connected to the Google account the YouTube account. So, if anyone puts a super thanks in at the minute, we won't receive it. So, please, please don't do any super thanks or anything. Um, I mean, we probably would receive it when we get it back up and running. Yeah, but it takes but we've got about 30 days, it's a, doesn't it? It's, it's so, it's just days. a waiting game. So, yeah, it's one of them things, but we We've got a YouTube's asked us to set up a new AdSense account. I don't know why, it's just caused us a bloody headache. Um, so, <clears throat> so there's the first thing. Second thing, what's that you got there? Oh, was that for the. Um, yeah, just, just in a few bits. Got it, yeah. <coughs> We've got our Christmas jumpers on today, haven't we? Yeah. Show them yours, Greg. Ta da! Guinness and Coca Cola. Coca Cola, even though I don't like Coca Cola, I do like the. Uh, Sparkly Christmas jumper. I yeah. did have another one, didn't I? But I, did, I went to Lidl, picked up some. This was a couple of years ago. Picked up some bleach, did me uh, daily shop, got home, and I, my jumper was pink. Useless with bleach, you are. Every bit of clothes is ruined. No, it's not. It is. You got it on everything. I haven't got it on anything now. Anyway, so tracked. We got asked over the weekend as well if we could do uh, an expenses. For value autos, uh, which we don't mind sharing with you because it's no secret. Monthly expenses for starting up, if you wanted to know, starting from the beginning. Now, these are just like bold costs, so like we're not going into detail with everything. But uh, to set the picture up, it didn't cost us a lot to set the picture up. Most of the stuff that I just happened to have already, um, I had the gate sitting around and this, that, and the other and the sheeting and bits of all the timber. I, I, I had 90% of the stuff, so obviously you've still got to allow free costing money, but it was just sitting around going to waste anyway. Uh, so that didn't really cost nothing. The shed was already there. It's just one of them. We've just turned a little piece of land into like a little sectioned off pitch. Um, as far as expenses go, uh, trade insurance monthly that costs uh, roughly £340 a month uh, that allows you to drive any vehicle obviously uh, trade plates that's costing about £30 a month um, rent £500 a month so obviously it's only a small pitch six or seven cars uh, how many have we got on there at the minute actually? We've got four on there at the minute, but one, two, three, there's four. two two big ones, aren't there? Um, yeah. Um 
I mean, if we squeeze them back together, we probably could get another two on the front if we yeah. open the gates outwards. I reckon you'd get six or seven small ones on there. Yeah. So we need to, we can't wait for the day where we've got a full house. Uh, services, Bingo. electric. Uh? House. Bingo. Yeah. Services, electric, water, so on. Roughly £120 a month. So you're looking at about £1,000 a month to stand still. So you can work that out in terms of how many cars you've got to sell to make money. Um, we started with a £10,000 cash injection into the business, hoping to buy initially four small cars, then increasing to seven cars over a six month period, which we're still sort of on target, aren't we? But how, how deep in are we now? Is this month two or month three? It's probably month three, I think. Probably, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think there's about 16 videos and we've been doing about two a week, haven't we? Yeah, so as you all know, we sold one straight away after we bought two cars and sold one. Uh, then went down to one car, then we had two cars, then we look now we're looking for a third. I mean, it's the wrong time of year really to start doing what we're doing because it's a quiet time of year to sell anyway, to sell anything. It's uh, a quiet time of year, but we're hoping that if we can hang on through through Christmas into New Year, then things should start picking up. And also, you got the economic climate that's not the best in the first place anyway. Uh, but it shouldn't stop us from selling cheaper cars. So, fingers crossed, New Year's gonna, you know, give us some sales. Da -da. I think that covers everything. If you've got any questions on what I've just said, or you need me to delve deeper into something, then just drop it in the comments below. And uh, if you're trying to start up a, a small pitch or anything as well, and you need uh, some advice on things that we've done, some mistakes that we've made, anything else, uh, then just give us a shout and we can point you in the direction that we went in. Whether it works for you or not, I can't guarantee, but that's just what, that's just how we've done it. So, moving on, Sarah is putting some more adverts on today, advertising some of the vehicles we got. The, we're in two minds whether to put the Land Rover up New Year as well. I don't really want to, Sarah's talking me into it. Ah, I haven't said anything, you're making that up again. You have said things. You said it in the last video. Only because that had to go. Yeah, well, maybe the Land Rover's got to go. I don't know. I don't want it to go. And also there is, we've got a Sherpa as well, like an old freight rover. If anyone's interested in, that might be coming up as well. That definitely will be coming up for sale, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, freight rover, we're not using it. We used to use it as an advertising vehicle. And I think that has, has got to go, so it needs to go to the right home because there's a history with that that used to belong to someone that I know. Um, and we've done a bit of work to it, tidy it up. So that's got to go to a good home. The Mark 1 Fiesta, that will be going up New Year as well. We just haven't had a chance to get it out of the garage. It was meant to go on Saturday, uh, but it was bloody freezing. I'm not sitting in, this, in the garage or standing in the garage. Uh, strange mm. oh you've put it on the wrong one that's no, why no i haven't yeah. uh so i won't stand in the garage when it's that cold there's icicles on my nose so i don't have any uh i stayed in on saturday in the end i think we stayed in didn't we stayed in all weekend i was in bed all day yesterday yeah so I still not got over a logo i've got a doctor's appointment this afternoon again yeah there will be a few vehicles coming up if you if you want if you are interested get down in the comments Obviously, if you want to come and have a look, you can come and have a look um, and see what else. Also, I don't know whether the Crafter camper van may be going up for sale near uh, everything must go. It could be everything must go. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Everything's for sale and we might have a big change around in 2024 and, uh, and do it that way. So watch your space. Right, today we're doing a... We are going to auction this afternoon because we're going to try and find a car for under £1,000. Yeah. So that's our mission today. Yeah, so what the best car we can get for under £1,000. So we've set ourselves a little task, haven't we? And I think we're going to call it Grand Bangers. No. What then? 
Well, we said yesterday. What What did we say? That we were going to look for a car. Yeah, what What, what we going to call it then? Because I'll put it on there. Uh, I can't remember now. Did you not write it down? Did you... What, let's see if you WhatsApped me. Angus for a grand. No, that's not what you said. Facebook Marketplace video. Also, Range Rover pricing. Change battery to leisure battery and camper. This is how we communicate. Contact motors, spares. What for? Uh, about the YouTube channel. Oh. Hold on, I've got one more. Buying a car under a thousand pound and also doing the costs involved in starting up a small used car sale pitch. We've done that, babe. Thank you, Greg. Yeah, that's how uh, we communicate. So we're going to find. <coughs> The bang after a grand. And we are going to come back to something, aren't we? Hopefully. <laughs> We've got to. We've set ourselves a mission. We're going to take you with us. So keep watching till the end. See how we get on. <laughs> So I've come up with an idea, so you know these bangers for a grand beat? Yes. Uh, well, it's not bangers for a grand beat, it's a, buying a car for a thousand pound. Yeah. What about if I come up with like a cheesy, like, intro to the finding a car for a thousand pound? I'm not having any involvement in it. I'm not having any involvement in it. You're the king of cheese, so you can do it, Greg. Well, can I just tell you what I was thinking? Go on, then. I was thinking, like, I say something, yeah. like, bangers for a grand, bangers for a grand, hold out your hand, get your banger for a grand. <laughs> no. If you want. I reckon I could make this work. Okay. <laughs> Bangers for a grand, bangers for a grand. Hold out your hand, get your bangers for a grand. Are we going to have this all day now? I reckon I could do that. Do you reckon that work? Yeah? Maybe? Are you going to do it anyway, whether I say yes or whether I say no? So, I'll leave that one with you, Gregor. Well, lead me to it, I'll see what I can conjure up. Right, are you ready for this? I need you to just do this yeah. for 11 seconds. Good to hell. Things ready? I have to do for this YouTube crack. <laughs> Right, we're going to look at um, a couple of the cars down at the auction uh, tonight, and I found one that I'm looking at. What would that be? Possibly a Ford C Max Z Tech TDI, uh, 15 plate. And before we go to auction, we do our vehicle checks using vehicle score. So as I enter the vehicle registration into vehicle score, oh. click get a score. What one have you checked? The one that we're looking at. Bloody hell, have you done that? Quicker than you are. You are? And that's a good score. That is actually a decent score. It's got a score of 812 out of 999. The average score for this vehicle with the age uh, is 711. So it's amazing. Uh, it's got no mileage discrepancy. The MOT comments are good, the yearly miles are good, and the age is great. Click the link in the description, it will send you over to Vehicle Score where you can use the code VALLEY15 to get your 15% off.
Uh, even though, uh, like I say, the AdSense is down, if you did, however, want to support the channel, which I'm not asking you to, but there is people in the comments that do want to support, which we really appreciate. Uh, if you do, there is a Patreon link in the description of every video, isn't there? Yeah. And Greg's had some ideas for some new merch, haven't you? Anyway, we're running through the merch. Go on, then you can do that because it's your idea. The blue this is just that. a prototype, isn't it? Oh, we're just going to try it out on yours? We're just going to try it out on the ones we, the we got. Yeah, mine's a bit too big. Mine, oh, where am I? It's a bloody bed. Oh, so yeah. Just, just throw the spanner straight in the works Well, there. you can Cold, do it. Cogs jammed up, everything. Well, you can do it on yours. <laughs> Hold out your hand, buy a manga for a grand. Once well, so we're down here, they haven't brought all the cars in yet. I think they're just starting to bring them in from the car park. So we're going to have a little walk outside, see if we can see anything out there first. Burger van, the bur the burger van's not open yet. The uh, ACR overpack, yes, they should go and look at that one first. Let's go have a look. <coughs> oh, it's a bit nippy. Eh? She's only a minter, isn't she? I think it's had a repaint though, by the looks of it. It's been repainted, definitely, I would say. I don't think that's. <clears throat> I don't think that's the right colour. You don't. No, it's definitely. It's been. It's been. It's had a full repaint. One hundred percent. It's a lovely day. What's this for you? What's this one? It's okay, isn't it? Oh, that one. Oh no. I want a new bumper. That's 115,000. See, that's the colour that's meant to be. It's not. Yeah, that seems a bit. It's a bit lighter, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know, I could be wrong, but. I think it's been painted. I don't know. It might not have, but I mean, it just looks too nice. Now, there is a template BMW that we're looking at as well. I think it's done 100 and something thousand. Let's have a look. This is the one, our left 10. Direct, 109,000. Full levers. That is a nice car. Very nice car. Manual. Tires are all the right. It's a clean car. I'm quite surprised. Obviously, the easiest way to check this out is vehicle score. Type in the reg, you get a score. Not bad. 654 out of 999. Phone's getting a bit wet. We're going to have to take this off the See if we've got enough time. price that we pay for it. Yeah. Because I'm going to have to buy a new phone. <laughs> <laughs> see if you've got enough time to just see what the value is on it. Uh, sorry everyone, it's not your nose. What's the value? 4070 to 5088. Oh, that's a, a cool grand, isn't it? Oh yeah, well that might go for... That's going to go for three then, isn't it? Now we've just done a vehicle score on this one, it's coming up quite good, one owner from there, it's had a bit of work done to it. Interior's all nice, everything's nice, paintwork's nice, had new tyres, new exhaust. Then we come to this. Wing issue. Oh dear, dirty hand issue. Um, and a scuff on the bumper. Not a problem though, I don't think, because it hasn't touched anything else. 
Uh, I'm not sure whether these bolts on or well done, but it's not the end of the world, is it? That we are opening our eyes to a bit of work, and that is something that we can deal with. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it looks pretty tidy, other than that. Yeah, it's a tidy old thing, really. Just a little job on it. Right, Sarah's gone out the rain now. She's just going to do a few checks on some on something else. So I'm going to get in, get dry, and uh, then have a little look for something else. That's not really a major. Uh, what what's the value on it now, sir? <laughs> now I know people aren't. They're all. This is all in the news at the minute about these four wheel drives. Uh, people, people too costly to run, too much to insure. Not really a freelander, but it's still heavy on the road tax. Um, it's not giving me a value at the minute, so when we go in, I'll have to have a look. There's no valuation on it, but I mean, it's not a bad little little Jeep, is it? Is there a dent in that passenger door there? No, no, no. just my eyes. That's not a bad little thing. It's sitting nice, tyres are good. We've got an 11 plate here, X1. 730 the value on it a bit of a scuff on the bumper in the quarter nothing too bad one owner from those 70,000 miles yeah it's got a knock on the front bumper slides someone will get a tidy card out of that if it's all right automatic need to see how she runs so coming back into the hall these are like the non-main dealer ones that are lined up. Uh, 200,000 miles on that one. These are usually what individuals or small dealers part X, put the part X's in and stuff like that. And the trouble is with this lot, you never know what you're gonna get. Uh, 31,000 miles, 18, right? Gonna go for a few bob letters. The one that's just coming here, rattling its knackers off. Sounds a bit like you in the morning, doesn't it? This has been here for over a month, this car has. I'm not showing you which one it is yet. That's why it's not sold. Do you think I'm going to get copyrighted for whistling? Demonetised. That's the one. What did I say? Oh, copyright. It's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it depends how good you are. Mm, that's it. Definitely going to happen now, isn't it? Sarah's just opened the boot on one of them cars there as the bloke was pulling up. <laughs> and the bloke couldn't... He was pressing the button away, trying to lock the car. He couldn't lock it. And she, I bloody Because she'd left the boot open. And I threw my phone at a car. Yeah. That red one up there. Well, it saved my phone. I'm not sure about the bumper. I don't know. It hit the floor. Well, yeah, my phone's fine, but the bumper's got to be dent in it. No, you haven't. Yeah, hasn't it? Yeah, I've <laughs> That's not even the car. <laughs> You've got a bloody strong phone, haven't you? To do that. <laughs> Did you have that tape in your pocket? Yeah. Inside pocket. Comes in under. In there with the Jazz 2000. <laughs> Charge my phone when it dies. Right then, auction house is definitely filling up now. They're bringing all the cars in out the way, so we can have a proper look round in the dry. All right. I'm soaking wet. I am. I meant to be warm. I know. You're a bloody idiot. What do you mean? You brought me here. <laughs> Apart from toes. Well, neither can I. Can't reach them. I can. Yeah. I'm not doing it because I can't move. I think we found a thousand quid car. All day at your end by a banger through grand. Now look at this an 06 plate Vetra. Is it petrol or diesel? There's no ticket in the window at the minute. Sarah's just I'm done. One of the people that work here. 
big I mean, for an MOT, are It could be, it could be. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're bidding on their car. Yeah. It looks like it's been cleaned up a bit. Petrol or diesel, manual or auto. Manual. I don't know if you can see it because it's well, dark. It can't be. If it's somebody that works here, unfortunately, they haven't taxed it. All oh, right, so, so it's definitely going for it. They sell it to us for a grand or under. Yeah. Or I'm going to grass them up for having no tax. Yeah. So, this is our grand car. We've got your grand here, though. Hey? We've got your grand here. MOT history. All it needs is some discs uh, and a, one of the tyres. I'll check that, see if they've had it. Done, which I doubt they would have if they've. It says it's had an MOT today, August December 2023. Well, they're brand new tyres on there. Oh, yeah, they're brand new tyres. Alright, once a tyre on the back there. What a shame. Three brand new tyres. They've let it down on that one. Looks a tidy old car there. Was it petrol or diesel? Whoa. Just going around the front and bringing it in the front way. Huh? That's, it's going in the front front of the auction, but it started all right. But it's only come in off a private customer, so God knows what's happened with the store aid, but it started nice, sounded nice. So that could be worth a punch if it's cheap enough, do you reckon? Give it a go, couldn't we? Yeah. I feel like Kenny out of South Park. <laughs> Don't say it. It's been backed in. Yeah, I know. How do ya? Whoa! Oh. Fuck me, that was close. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't swear. What did you say? I said, oh, dearie, mate. Oh. It's tidy. What's your drive like? It's too good. Yeah. That was close, wasn't it? Did you do that? Couldn't even get my tone between there. It's because I was shouting, I think. Hello! It's only my car. Guess what happened? <laughs> We've only got this one. Giving up your dreams to your silly demons. We're diamonds in the dust, so oh, I can't you see it? What did it cost us? We have to work it out tomorrow. It's about come to seven hundred and something. Seven quid. something, yeah. Um, but as we got in it, we found out the cool that light is on. Uh, so we've just stopped, put the bonnet, and we're having a little little look see if there's any. Any issues with it before we drive it back? Oil looks all right. A bit low, but it looks all right. Coolant level is low, so maybe that is is an issue. Yeah. How's it smell? <laughs> Beautiful. I can't really see in there to see what colour that is. It looks the right colour, but it could be. Where's my phone? Why don't you come around this side? Looks a bit dirty, that. Looks a bit dirty-ish, but... Not milky or nothing, but it could have been covered up, do you know what I mean? If Jet washed all the engine, whoever has whoever had it has jet washed the engine. I don't know whether to risk driving it back to noise, because I can't be doing it with a bloody headache. And also we've got to stop for fuel and that, so should we come back? Should we come back tomorrow? Should it's not we, Halloween. Should we park it here and come back tomorrow? Yeah. And then we can bring some water, some or, yeah. petrol. And we ain't got a mess about. Yeah, yeah. We'll should do we do that? that? It might be safer. Where are we going to park it then? We'll just park it down there somewhere. Okay. Um, I just don't want to be doing head eight tonight, like breaking down somewhere. Do you know what I mean? We can sit here and give it an hour tomorrow, let it run up, top it up with water, see, see, do a good check on it. Yeah, we'll do that then. Okay, let's park it up somewhere safe. But apart from that, I mean, she'd... I've only drove it from out the backyard, but she draws nice. Um, don't know if you can see in here. Probably best off giving you a little walk around tomorrow, really. But it's tidy. There's no funny odours. 
clean. There is a bit of, there is water getting in here, I know there is. I, I bet you if we pop this up, I bet there's water in the tyre well. No, there's not. No. It's bloody dry, unless they've dried it all out. But, why is it inside misting up a little bit then? They could have cleaned all the carpet, mm. couldn't they? They could have had a full valet. If they clean the carpets today, this morning, then obviously that would cause that. Yeah, because um, it looks tidy. It does look really like tidy, like, like it's had a full valet. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, but we'll, we'll bring you back up here with us tomorrow because I want to get home to get in the warm. Yeah, that'll do for today. So, let's go and park it up. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Ow, something digging into me. Digging into me? Digging into me. Something in my pocket. Maybe could be my phone. Let's go nip it, isn't it? Yeah. Put the go and get in the warm. It's gone off now. How oh, is it? It's gone off, but I took the I took the cap off and put it back on again. So is it pressurising? I'm wondering. What would that be? Oh, it could be a gasket to come back on. But what we'll do is have a look tomorrow. It'll be nice and light. Do it come down in the light. And the same. And it make life a lot easier. Yeah? Yeah, we'll do that. Hello. What do you reckon to that then? Huh? Well, we got it for cheap enough, didn't we? I think there could be something wrong with it. What do you reckon? Look, if I didn't think there's something wrong with it, I would have drove it on tonight, wouldn't I? I think. Not if there's a light on there. But it did look a bit on. low. The, so. water, the coolant light was on, the water was low, but only about like that much low. It was at the bottom of the, the, the tank. But. It has drove from Knoll today. But it has come, and it has, we found it has been MOT today as well. So that's been on the ramp for 45 minutes. What does it mean? I don't know. Trying to put a picture together is, uh, is very hard in this circumstance, I'm thinking. But it's all been valeted. It's all like very clean. It's immaculate. The engine's been cleaned. The inside's been cleaned. And I reckon they cleaned the carpets. That's why there was uh, condensation on the windows, which has started wearing, as I know, as the time yeah, had gone brought, on. As I brought it in. Yeah, so that, that shows there was no water in the boot, which I thought there would be in the tyre well. Uh, it seems it seems a decent car. I'm just a little bit dubious. So because it's dark, I didn't want to risk... There was no fuel in it either. So I didn't want to be messing about tonight, breaking down, overheating on the way back in the rain couldn't be asked with that so for what it is we can nip back down there tomorrow in the in the light take a couple of litres of water in, in case we need it take a fuel can full of fuel and that will at least get us home and if there is an issue we can we can sort it from there in the light uh, in the light but we're going to run it up in the car park tomorrow to temperature see if it holds its temperature it could be if it's not the head gasket or head, which I'm looking worst case scenario, it could be like a, a thermostat that's stuck, uh, something like that. Um, but it passed the MOT, we, we've just like, I think it was an advisory of a tyre. One tyre and uh, pads. And brake pads. That's, that, and that was just a, a, a low advisory. So I honestly don't know, I can't tell you. But, time will tell so don't forget to watch out for the next video if you haven't already click subscribe so you do see the next video otherwise the chances are you might never see us again right click the subscribe now jobs are coming jobs are coming drop us a comment to let us know what you think about that and we'll see you on the next one on the next one thanks for watching Let's get on. Giving up your dreams to your city.